Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about charged particle equilibrium. So charged particle equilibrium occurs when we have a steady state between the charged particles entering and leaving a region of dosimetric interest. Uh, you can see this visualization here of this volume that we care about. We're trying to you know, calculate dose for. And we have charged particles entering and charged particles exiting, basically assuming that what goes in comes out, uh, not necessarily the same particles, but for every one that goes in, you have an equivalent one that's leaving. Um, there's an assumption that is made with charged particle equilibrium, which is that the photon fluence is relatively unchanged over the range of these charged particles. So um, in practice, often the as if that range of the charged particles gets larger and larger, uh, it becomes more difficult to have charged particle equilibrium. So basically, charged particle equilibrium is a energy balance in three-dimensional space. So I guess you could say that uh, charged particle equilibrium is collision karma karma. So maybe karma is important for dose calculation. All right, so if we have a photon beam that deposits energy in tissue, this is really a two-step process. First, photons interact in the medium to impart kinetic energy to charged particles. In other words, that's terma. And then the charged particles deposit energy through events along the track. And that uh, is where we get our dose. If charged particle equilibrium exists, then terma is proportional to dose, and dose is equal to collision karma. However, in the absence of charged particle equilibrium, such as at tissue interfaces, beam edges, maybe in low, uh, low density uh, medium, uh, this simplification is invalid and the two steps must be more clearly distinguished. So let's revisit this example from a, that we looked at in a prior video uh, in terms of charged particle equilibrium. So here we have a photon that enters a volume, h nu one and there is a Compton interaction uh, and an electron is given a kinetic energy T and there's a Compton photon of H nu two. That electron then goes on and there are collision events, but then there's also two Bremsstrahlung interactions that uh, give off photons H nu three within the volume and H nu four outside of the volume. And then the electron leaves the volume with residual kinetic energy T prime. All right, so we've talked about in the prior video how terma is going to be equal to T plus H nu 2, which is equal to H nu 1. Kerma is the kinetic energy given to the electron, that's T. Con collision kerma is that portion of the energy that is uh, given off in collision events, so that would be T minus H nu 3 and H minus H nu 4. And then radiative kerma is that portion that is given off in through radiative events, so that's H nu 3 and H nu 4. And then dose to volume V is complicated in that you have to subtract out the residual kinetic energy. So that is equal to T minus H nu 3 minus T prime. Now, what if we assume charged particle equilibrium? Well, if we assume that, then um, basically we take that electron that has left the volume with kinetic energy T prime, and we assume that an equal electron with uh, kinetic energy T prime is going to enter the volume somewhere else, um, or in, into this volume. So basically, you can treat this entire series of interactions as if it all happens within volume V, because anything that leaves the volume, we have something else coming into the volume that's going to have basically, that's going to be the same. All right, so in that case, um, dose to volume V, we can solve for that, and that's going to be T minus H nu 3 minus H nu 4, which is the collision karma. And so this gets to our relationship in the presence of charged particle equilibrium, uh, dose is equal to collision karma. So as we mentioned before, one of the assumptions for charged particle equilibrium is that the photon fluence doesn't really change over the range of the charged particles. However, for a mega voltage photon beam, we have quite a large range for those electrons as increases with energy. And so we end up with a situation where we can't really have charged particle equilibrium, uh, which is unfortunate because mega voltage photons is what we use in radiation therapy. However, um, we do have a situation called transient CPE or TCPE. Uh, along the beam path. 
in TCPE, dose is proportional to collision karma rather than equal to it. And this table, again, taken from uh, this AAPM report 85, you can see for each incident photon energy, so th there you have you know, 100 keV, 1 MeV, 10 MeV, and 30 MeV, um, you have the percent of the photons that are attenuated over the range of uh, the max electron range. So for 100 keV, you don't really have any change, any photon attenuation, right? But for a 1 MeV beam, you have a 1%. 1% uh, of the photons will be attenuated over the range of the charged particles, the, the electrons that are created. Uh, for 30 MeV, that, that increases to 15%. On the far right column, uh, that's the ratio of collision dose to collision karma that you end up with. And you notice there's a little difference there because in the uh, medium, your electrons, they're not traveling in a straight line. So you'd end up with um, a ratio of about 8% um, difference between your um, dose and collision karma for a 30 MeV photon beam.